Hey, what's up everybody? Coyote Chris here, and welcome back to another Game of Thrones Telltale Games Let's Play. And in the last episode, if you recall, um, Garrett Tuttle got sent to the wall, and right here, and last we'd heard, new Asher Lord Forrester is trying to walk so across to the ship, meeting, but he's really banged up, so we'll see how he does. They give us month-old bread. <sighs> fucking worms in it. Go home then, man. Go home. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The White Hill soldiers always seem to be angry. And we're just have grumbling too few men all the time. Them. Grumble, grumble, grumble. If you recall from last time, uh, well, pretty the much the whole off. story and line has been the Forester household just getting demolished and wrecked and thrown into the dirt. And we're trying to save them. You know we're trying to bring else? them back. No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. Drink the water, man. Him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking right. Man, he's just dropping all kinds of bombs, isn't he? Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm Roderick. Hideous. Poke you right in your eyes. With Walder Frey, and did he's you? leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with a corpse. The girl's leaning on me, man. Come on. Is a real curse. shame about your leg, but who gives a toss? Thank you. Don't this guy over here, this guy here on the right, he gets it. He gets me. Uh, doesn't he look like a load of fun? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> What's he gonna round. say? Ooh. Move aside, soldier. Yeah, take that. I tell you what's up. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Oh, you wait till I get full health. What's gonna happen? Something's going on. He's like, I wonder what's weaker. Oh, your legs. Go on. Or this house. Hmm. I'm the I lord of this house. I'm the lord of this house, and you will move. Oh, he see knows. Look at that. He's scared. Yeah. Go on then, my lord. That's right. He tried to act all confident, but you know what's up. You're get out of here. Go on. <sighs> Let's go. Keep walking. Play cool. We run this show. Look at his shirt. It's all like it's got all these patterns on it and stuff like that. Might be a girl's shirt. That's what it might be. Alrighty. So I wonder if he can like. I wonder how, how, like, how long it's going to take for him to heal, because I just want to take that sword out and start like just flinging that guy around, just chopping down wherever I can see. I bet you he gets a giant sword, too, that his dad had and made Garrett bring back to the wall. Guarantee it. Well, come on. Loading screen. Let's go. There's important business I have to get to. So much walking. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. Beckard, Beckard, Beckard. Loud noises! That's right. When I step in the room, everyone's quiet. Roderick. My boy. Mom. Hello. Come, join us. Alrighty, here I come. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. I don't need help. She's just my... my escort. Lady Talia. It's good... It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We Why'd you stutter? Don't you like you so me? Soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Yeah. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. See, those two are just bickering. Like, get married already. Get a us. room. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the White Hill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lord, please. Oh, I'm a fool. 
At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey Sir stole. Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you Ooh. done to get him back? Nothing. Let's get slam the fist. Watch the strength. Ready? Hulk smash. You have no wit. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. Oh, did you see how they the back down? Of my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Hmm. Not anymore. I'll summon our allies. Summon we got this. our allies then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took deep with Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson, and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her That's father true. is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. Oh, yeah. Well, that much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide Why? for herself. What's not desirable about me? So I got some battle Your wounds. Come on, is man. On her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. There but we go. It could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. I'm going to woo her. I'm going to put if on the moves. If she wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. I need a new Their suit first. These rags I'm wearing now, the sling? The sling is very unattractive. The fucking ground. Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Come on, Talia. Talia. She's always oh, so, so tough contract. on me. Mm, I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. The hair. It's the hair. To push Elena too hard. What do you know? Elena does like come to Ireland. Nine. She'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Um. We'll keep them drunk for now. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Oh, he's got a grin on his face. Like, I hate picking that guy's thing, but we gotta keep him drunk, man. Keep him on their toes. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. My lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Better than laying in that freaking, uh, like, what was that cart? That cart they brought me in? Ooh, I like the color. these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. So sad. Talia still has to write that song. song coming? Oh, there we go. Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. Um. Would you like I my help? help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for what I need right now. How much a little, meant to little you. kick. Well, I'm I'm down. Sure it will down. Thanks, him. Talia. Look at that beard I'm growing, though. That is shapely beard. That's a man's beard. It goes with my About hair. Elena, and beautiful green eyes. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but... Maybe your sister can find a way to help. You're putting a lot of faith in her, like, Mom, and she's not, you know, she's just off doing whatever. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of part, or, like, chapter three of this episode. So we are halfway through our episode, and we're going to go see Mira Forrester. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Quit nagging, woman. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Look at that penmanship. Make sure to tell Perfect. them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Like what? A dog? You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I'm sure they'd like a dog better than lovely sentiment. I'm going with the dog in the next letter. Regardless of what she says. 
and the seal. Here you are. Alright, don't don't blow it. Don't blow Ah, uh, perfect. Textbook, man. Textbook. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Huh. Wonder what they drink. Snapple? Like that commercial where all the New Yorkers love it? For Lady Mira ah. Forrester. Get out of here, you're dirty. Go away. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Go on. Get. Jeez. What is it, Mira? Some dirty man. It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? You understand. Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? My mom's needy. She's I'm sorry. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. My mom is so she's bold. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. How do you do you things? You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. He does have a pretty sick beard. I'd better get going. All right. Mira, we'll talk yeah. more later. Okay. She just walks out so slowly, like it's gonna take her forever to get where she's going. She's walking so slowly, Marjorie. And now I'm like, what do I do with this? She's clearly up to something though. Look at that scheming face. She's like, ooh, I could write a letter on my own. I have the quill and I have the seal. Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. No, finish the letter. Don't do anything stupid. You'll I'm get your sorry, head Roger. cut off. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Why couldn't she write both? Mira, Lady oh. Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard, oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. This girl would have snitched on me for sure. Good thing I started exciting. writing or finishing the letter. A love letter, perhaps, or a declaration of war. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and and all that's happening with your family. I am pretty busy, yep. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Ooh. What about? Do tell. Well, it's... Spit it out. Come on now. We really should get these letters sent first. You can't say that. You, you can't say it. Tell me. You have something to tell me. And then be like, no, I'm not going to tell you. Outrageous. What is even going on? Oh, we're going to the wall, I do believe. Ba 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 ba. Yep, there we are. Alrighty. Look at me. All dressed in black. That guy's so, like, I like him. He likes me, I think, but he's just like a rugged old guy. Buckhead. Oi, that's not my name. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Why does so it matter, move. dude? All right, whatever you called it. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. Okay, you listening. Know why I got sent to the wall. Uh, don't say anything. I'm trying to pay attention, man. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. Well, how'd you get it, man? I was stuck in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diachron are you here for? Fucking potatoes. 
Potatoes? Stay quiet, man. Pay attention. Got caught stealing a bag of them. One bag of potatoes gets you sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. I'm just gonna keep quiet. Talk about my sister, all right? That's something for you too. Who in seven hells is talking back there? I was trying to listen to the speech. These guys are just nabbing away. Double. Who was it? Uh, we're just gonna not me. You're looking at the wrong recruit, sir. So it was someone else then. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. I didn't. I just said it wasn't me. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. Eh, you so know. we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today Aww. you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Yeah, Are check, you check. Strong? Uh, pretty strong. Those who do well might just survive. <clears throat> the rest of you. What about? Finger. What would happen to the rest of us? I need a word. Go on, get started. Man, I got in trouble. I didn't even do anything. Best they called me luck. out. Tattle. Thanks, dude. Look at that. Making friends already. It's like the first yeah. day of school all over again. Here we go. Alright, so we got a grunty guy. We got some swords. Got some crossbows. He clearly likes the crossbow bit. Huh. Uh, so he's up there watching me. See these dance moves? See these dance moves? He can't handle this. He's got like, I gotta send him north of the wall now. He's got moves. He's got moves. Alright, where's that guy left in the barrel? Like, he needs help. Um, where's that guy at? Over here. Yeah, you need any help, fella? Any help there, guy? Apparently not. He's just standing there pointing at the barrels, like, really creepily. You've lost your mind, man. You've lost it. Alright, well, I can't talk to anyone over there. What if I just go up and talk to them? Nope. Oh, I want to pet the horse! Pet the horse! Pet. Ah, oh, it's the petting zoo. Ah, oh, you're a pretty little horse, aren't you? You're pretty. Yes, you are. Can I pet it again? I want to pet it again. I want to ride the horse. Dang it, I can't do anything else. This guy's having all kinds of trouble. Cutter. I can do this, dude. I can do this. You're doing that all wrong. Good job, man. Let me show you. He's taking that pretty lightly for like shooting himself in the foot. Ready? All right. Dump. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot right. the targets I tell you to. Here we go. Here's my chance. Time Let's to prove easy. myself. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Uh, press. Move the right to aim. And, okay. Center of the chest. Bam. Follow orders at least. Nailed it. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Here we go, don't blow it. I poppy, I poppy, bang. Good. Nailed it. Right target, chest. Ready, quick fire. Got him. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. Nailed it. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nice well done. done. Thanks, man. Look at this, this is so many new friends. I pet a horse. What a crazy day. Friends, horses, I'm ready for a good night's sleep. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Let's 
going Didn't over to help my so pal. Bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Oh no! Swiped it right off him. Why would you do don't that? Tell, all right. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Why? Come on, man. Why you gotta start things? Let him be a jerk. He'll get over it. He's got daddy problems or mommy problems, something like that. I feel like girls are the one that have daddy problems as guys have mommy problems. Wow, one of the options is look at logs. Like, oh cool, I'm at the wall, what do I want to do? Logs! I haven't seen those ever, especially in like the like log building place that I have, or I come from, in House Forester. Why can I not sword fight? I want a sword fight. Where's my little cursor at? Use. Right now, pick these guys up. There it is. Oh, sword rack. Use. Grab one of these bad boys. Take we'll pick that. the red one. The one with the red hand. You grab a practice sword. Pick the red one. Pick the one with the red handle. Pick the red handle. Yes. Yes. Should do. Yeah, it'll do. Arm of you today. Ah, oh, you unlucky Remember, soul. These blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. My eyes are kind of buggy right now. Didn't see that coming, did you? Wake up! All right, rebound one for one. So I... you don't know it's coming. Gotcha! Take that! Ooh! I win. Get off me, you bloody ox. Hey, you don't, don't call lucky. my name. What's he thinking? What's going through everyone's mind? Hmm, okay, I'm just gonna go up there and talk to the guy. I've completed sword training. Look up there. Castle Black. Well, obviously. So this is home now. Keep walking. Can I go up the stairs. Alrighty. Time to talk to the big man. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, jump him. Hey man. Total, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. See, dude. Clearly doesn't want to talk to me right now. He doesn't want to, like everyone else to know that I'm his favorite. So like he's like, hey, go back down there. I gotta play like cool dad. I can't play cool dad right now. What else do I do? His barrels, I gotta show off my strength. Cause this guy's too weak. He's you done talking recruit. to them. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. Ooh. Crazy. I can do this. He wants to burn some wildlings like he totally does. Get him. <clears throat> With all back, no <laughs> legs at all. <laughs> Alrighty, I've proved myself. Stop groaning now. Quit groaning. Come on. Come on. We're getting there. Where do I gotta go now? I'm stuck. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got around it. Alrighty. Look at this. All, all strength. They didn't drop it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, tap, 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 tap. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Don't hurt yourself, tap. I've got it. <sighs> Completed. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. 
If the thing isn't frozen off. I'm gonna be a ranger though. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. I'm not holding my breath, brother. Look, he he has like not much faith in me. But he's like my friend, he knows it. He's just having parent issues. Alrighty, send me out. Send me outside the wall. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. These two are always at each other's throats. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my. Where is it? Uh oh. Trouble's about to start. my knife. If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Uh oh. Stay quiet. Get out of this. Think of it. You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and it was you. What? You little fucking thief! It they figured me. it out. Don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. Uh -oh. I I swear. Don't hide behind I'm me. Go find something else to hide behind, like a barrel or something. Got it. Do something. I'm gonna tell Just him to calm, calm down. down. Fight. Oh. Defuse. Oh, I tried to defuse the situation. I got punched. Punched in the face. Again. Uh that wasn't Punch very nice. Aside. That wasn't very nice. How about this? Dodged. Oof, can't hit me, I'm too quick. Stick and move. Alright. Tackle. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get there they go again. That one guy was like in like high school. He was still like, fight, fight, fight! Like expecting this big old circle to come by. B block. Look at those. Is there a boxer? Is there like a boxer ranger? Because that's what I'm gonna be. Give me a pair of gloves now. Uh, where's the, where's the, there we go. Boom. One more. One more. He deserves it. Oh. Get off. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. Oh, that's serious. I swear I don't have it. He must have hit it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuttle. Man, I'm always Instead caught in all this trouble. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training, sir. Not I... another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine, let him freeze his balls off. Yay! I get to finally get away from these guys. Get off! Oh. Mind your fucking manners. You guy just got come with me. slapped like a girl. Anyway, see you later. Look at that. The guy's so like sneaky. You underestimate the sneakiness, sir. Alrighties, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the fourth chapter in this episode so we will finish off this entire episode in the next next week's game of thrones so that'll be part three and that's all the time we have for today so thanks for joining me and i will see you next time goodbye